Hello folks, Scott Byers, Director of Facilities here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. As you can see by all the buds that are blooming around my head, spring has sprung here at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Denny and I are going to walk you around, show you some plants, and give you some health gardening tips for our region. What we have here is a Ribes, better known as a gooseberry. Uh, comes in a ton of different varieties, shapes, sizes. Wonderful plant up here for us at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Very drought resistant, very hardy in our climate. Which is super important to be planting the right stuff here in Colorado. Uh, early pollinators love this plant. It throws out these little yellow flowers early in the season. So everybody that's coming out early is looking for these things to start pollinating. Hummingbirds actually come down off their migratory route looking for this plant in specific. It's one of the first things that they're feeding on when they get into our area. Gooseberry. We live in a drought state, so irrigation is a good thing to have to help water, uh, mitigate water usage. Uh, this time of year, you want to get ready or start thinking about um, turning on your irrigation system. Uh, check for leaks, for any breaks, because we want to conserve water as best we can here. And sometimes over the winter, if you don't blow out or you didn't blow out well enough, sometimes the water can stay in the lines, expand and bust uh, your heads or your valves. So it's good to start thinking about getting that stuff checked to get ready to fire it up in May. Okay, so what we have here is a viburnum. Um, wonderful screening shrub, holds its foliage year round. The foliage actually turns purplish red in the winter months, which actually has a very cool interest to it. Um, as you can see, it's starting to put out these clusters of flowers. This be just kind of this cloud of white clustery flowers at the tips of all the branches. Um, great hardy plant for our area. Not the most drought resistant, but definitely a low water plant. We have here an American plum. Awesome shrub, great in our region. Uh, it is a native, very drought tolerant puts out all these little white blooms early in the season. If they stay on long enough and don't get hit with a cold snap and can actually get pollinated, these things will throw out a ton of just little purple plums, delicious. Another big focus this time of year is your springtime maintenance. You wanna be going through your beds, cleaning out old leaves, chopping off last year's growth that might still be hanging on to plants if you haven't done that already. Mulching this time of year is a wonderful thing. Not only does it make your beds look immensely better, but it also helps to retain water, which is obviously very important in our region to hold on to as much of that moisture as you possibly can. So if you want more tips, that's our leopard in the background. If you want more tips on plants and stuff that's good for our for Colorado, you can come out to our annual plant sale that's on Memorial Weekend and meet the rest of the horticulture team and maybe buy some plants.